know the pH value of a neutral solution? How about the milk you're drinking? Well, this video will answer those questions, but don't forget to hit like and subscribe. In this video, we're going to have a look about the pH scale and some simple other indicators of acids and alkalis. In some videos, you have seen what makes something acidic, neutral, or alkaline. We can tell some things acidic, alkaline, or neutral by using an indicator. Indicators are substances that show different colors when they are in acidic or alkaline condition. Litmus paper is a simple indicator that tells us whether something is acid or alkali. Litmus is red in acids and blue in alkalines. Litmus paper is made from lichens which have been used to dye cloth for hundreds of years. It can be used as liquid or paper. The paper is easy and more reliable. It comes as red litmus paper and blue litmus paper. Red litmus paper changes color from red to blue under alkaline conditions, but no change under acidic conditions. Blue litmus paper changes color from blue to red under acidic conditions, and no change under alkaline conditions. So, just remember that red litmus paper changes color for alkalis and blue litmus paper changes color for acid. However, litmus paper only tells us whether something is acid or alkaline, but it does not tell us how acidic or alkaline a substance is. For this, we have a pH scale and the universal indicator. Universal indicator is a mixture of different indicators or dyes which has many different color changes and so shows us the pH value of a solution. Again, it can be used as a liquid or paper. The pH runs from 0 to 14, with 0 being extremely acidic, 7 being neutral, and 14 being extremely alkaline. Stomach acid is a strong acid with pH of about 2. Acid rain is with pH of about 5.5. Milk is slightly acidic or close to neutral to 7. Sea water is slightly alkaline. Soapy water is a strong alkaline and bleach is really a strong alkaline with a pH of 13. Universal indicator is so good due to its ability to indicate the entire pH spectrum. There are other indicators that can be used to have other color changes but these two are the ones you need to know. We can also get even more accurate pH using a pH meter which will give us readings to 0.01 of the pH. So, this lesson showed that indicators can tell us whether something is acidic or alkali and how acidic or alkali it is. Red litmus paper changes color for alkali and blue litmus paper changes color for acid. And universal indicator can give us more detail indicating where on the 0 to 14 pH scale a solution is. Acid for 0 to 6, neutral is 7, and alkalines are 8 to 14. So, if you learn new things today, please drop your comments below, share and like this video, subscribe and hit the bell button to be notified in my upcoming videos.